Hi, and welcome to the assembly video of the 60 litre poly wheelbarrow. When you pick up the barrow from the shop, you'll find that it comes in a tray, arm, and kit form. Within the kit, you'll find all the other parts you require, along with assembly instructions and a parts list. So to put together the wheelbarrow, what you require is a flat end screwdriver, and also a shifter. If you've got a socket wrench, this will make it a lot quicker at the end. So the tray, flip it over, you'll notice there's four holes in the base of the tray. These are to align with the four holes in the arms. So during the packing method, the arms actually get compressed like this. So what you may need to do is push it out to make them fit. Okay, so to add the arms onto the tray, you'll need the four longest bolts you have and four nuts as well. So because you're going to hold it like this when it's upright, flip it over, have a look, see if it aligns. If it doesn't, just give it a push out again. And there we go, it falls into place. So what we'll do here is guide the bolt through the train, through the arm, and just add the nut on. We'll just add the nut on loosely to all bolts throughout this process and we'll tighten them all up at the end. I find that doing this makes it a hell of a lot easier to put together the wheelbarrow. Repeat the process on the other side. Okay, here we go. The arms are now attached to the tray. Next thing we need to add on are the legs. So you'll have two V legs here. You'll also have a cross brace, which fits like so. So the V legs. bolts and nuts like so. So just release the nut and find the, the top piece will just sit over the top. It's a little bit tedious getting the V legs to balance uh, but it does happen. And then you, during this process you'll actually need to compress so you need to push this in to get it to guide over the bolt like so. This is perfectly normal and actually brings strength to the leg structure. Follow this process on the other side. Push again. recommend that you put the bottom two in first. So straight through, loosely tighten, we'll go to the other side. This may need a little bit of force here as well to align them, uh, but this is all to build that strength. Top two. braces. So grab the four longest bolts you still have remaining, build your axle assembly, so axle straight through, axle braces on either side, and then lift it over and align the axle braces with the four holes remaining in the arms. We guide the bolt through the arm and up through into the axle brace. Gently tighten. Do the front one on the other side. 
so that it sits in a place. Repeat the process on the bottom. Okay, so there we have our wheels now on. So we'll flip it over, like so. Grab your last two bolts and the last two braces. So these braces will sit like so, connecting to the tray and then also to the axle brace as well. So we'll just release the front one. You'll find that this will just guide straight back through. So add in the front brace, through the arm, through the axle brace. Up the nut, repeat the process on the other side. Front brace, arm, axle brace. Okay, the last two bolts, straight through the tray. So through the tray, you may need to push it down slightly to get the axle brace. Sorry, the front brace in a position, and then you'll do it up. Same again on the other side. Okay, there we go. The wheelbarrow is together. It's very loose, so what we need to do is tighten it up next. So to tighten it up, you've got a flat end screwdriver onto the back of your bolt, shift up, tighten it into place, and you'll find that winding it as tight as you can will be sufficient. Alternately, if you've got your socket wrench, you can tighten it like that. So tighten everything and you'll be ready to do your gardening. Thank you very much.